Hi, this is Lee Garrett, and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. Never has there been such a demand for remote working. Where lots of us wanted the option to work from home before, the pandemic has made this a necessity for a large proportion of the global workforce. And this means that there's been a huge requirement to use collaboration software that will help bring colleagues, departments, companies, and customers together. Now, there are lots of options out there for communicating and sharing as we work from home. However, I don't think that there is currently an application with as many users as Microsoft Teams. Now, with Microsoft Teams, you can have video calls, you can collaborate in real time on files, you can chat in different channels, create project plans, delegate tasks, you can integrate third-party applications to send real-time alerts to your team. It's just a huge beast of a service. Now, this is one of those rare screencasts where I'm comfortable in saying that there are lots of you that are already using this application, which gives me a bit of a challenge because I need to show you things that you may not know, despite the fact that lots of you are using it daily. But at the same time, I've got a cater for those of you that haven't used it yet, but you want to know what it's capable of and see if it's an option for you moving forward. To that end, this will be a two-part screencast. At least. <laughs> if we're going to be working remotely for the foreseeable, I want to do all that I can to cover as much as possible. Now, Teams offers companies and individuals so much that I really want to do it justice. So let's start. OK, let's start by looking at the different pricing options for Teams. Now, you may think that purchasing Teams is something you'll do if you run a business. But don't be fooled into thinking it's a corporate thing just because lots of businesses use it. Any group or social community can make good use of Teams. And I say this because on the far left here, we have a free tier. And I have to say that the free tier does offer a surprisingly large amount of features. And we'll cover those very shortly. However, for those looking at a paid offering, the paid versions require you to take up an Office 365 subscription. And dependent on the 365 subscription you have, the feature set in Teams will change. So you can have the 365 Business Basic tier, which is actually the one that I use and I'll be demonstrating here. And that's £3.80 per month. Then there is 365 Business Standard, which is £9.40 per month. Now, the main difference in those is that the standard one allows you to install desktop office applications, whereas the basic one gives you access to the browser applications instead, which is fine for me because I've actually got a home 365 subscription to ensure that my family have their desktop apps on all of their devices. So I use that for my business installs. Then to the right of that is the E3 Business subscription, which is what the majority of medium to large companies and corporations will use. Now, as I scroll down, there are ticks that show the features that are available. So a black tick means that everything in that section is included, whereas a white tick means just a portion of those features are. So if I expand chat and collaboration, we can see that everything is included in all the tiers with some difference in number of users allowed, maximum file size of attachments and file sharing limits too. On the free tier, though, you have guest access, which is really important. You have unlimited chat messages. You've got generous limits on file sizes. It's all good there. And if I close that, let's just go up to meetings and calling. As it's a white tick on the free tier, not everything is available here. You can have online video calls. You can screen share your machine. You can schedule meetings and you can customize your backgrounds. But you can't have any meetings recorded and you can't host online video conferencing. And the restrictions grow as we move further along to the right. I can't, for example, host online live events on my plan or have PSTN calling. Now, PSTN stands for Public Switched Telephone Network, which means that if you have this functionality, you can use Teams to call a landline or a mobile phone number. Now, I won't go through the differences between all of the tiers. However, the screencast here is going to be based on the version of Teams that you get with Office 365 Basic. Now, platform-wise, Teams is available everywhere. It's on Mac OS, Windows, Android, iOS, iPad OS, as well as through a web browser. Now, I'm going to cover Mac OS here, of course, and we will touch on iOS in the second part of the series. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, 
iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.